Hey guys, Taju22 here, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Taju22. And this is going to be the fifth episode, so a happy fifth to me, yeah. <laughs> well, not really, uh, but hey. Uh, next, the thing I wanted to talk about for this episode, or actually there's a lot of things I want to talk about, uh, being that I finally caught myself a break, and I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, so, without further ado, let's begin. Okay, first thing I wanted to talk about is the video game tag. Now, uh, yesterday, I was at school, and, you know, I was watching my videos, uh, and this was, like, uh, before my first class uh, yesterday in the morning, or at least where I live, uh, before my first class, and uh, I noticed that my good friend, uh, LP Grotus, uh, was tagged. He was tagged, and he had to answer six questions, in which he, well, he had to answer, and then subsequent to that, he would tag, I don't know how many people exactly he has to tag, uh, let me, uh, uh, let me reference his video. Oh, let me see. Well, I'm just referencing his videos. Okay, so I was just uh, listening to... Uh, Grotus's video in the background like you can't hear it because well only I can hear it um, Okay, so there's no limit to uh, How many I can tag like I can't I can I have to tag at least one person That's the only rule, but after that uh, I can tag how many and whoever I want Already so long as they haven't been tagged already uh, That's the rule. Okay, so the questions are gonna be as follows <sighs> and that is, uh, what is your favorite video game of all time? Well, I had some time to think about that, and it comes as no surprise that it is uh, Star Fox 64. Uh, Star Fox 64 is one of my all-time favorite games, and I have to say, it's, it's something I grew up with. I mean, I'm a 90s kid. And, heck, I'm a 64 kid, actually. And, yes, I was there when it happened. You know, big deal. But, hey, I was there, you know. And, I mean, this was back in 1997. And, you know, a lot has changed since uh, 97. And, let's see, what else? Um, but, yeah, I really had a lot of fun with that game. So much fun that I enjoyed Let's Playing that game. In fact, I did a Let's Play of it, and I finished one episode short of completing it, and it was all because I got robbed. So, you can only imagine how upset I really was uh, about that, and I didn't appreciate that one bit. I really didn't. But, what are you going to do? So, the next thing I wanted to talk about... Or actually, the next question rather is, uh, what is your favorite game genre? Well, that's really not that hard uh, because, for the most part, I really enjoy platformers because that's what I grew up with, and that's probably what I'm gonna die with. Well, not really, but I, I, that's what I grew up playing over the years, especially when I was just a smaller toad. So. That's something I enjoy doing a whole lot. And the next thing I wanted to talk about was what is the earliest game you remember? Well, the earliest game I could remember would have to be uh, when I was three years old. I was just a little baby toad back then. and But I remember uh, going to my cousin's house and playing... Well, I didn't play it myself. Uh, I I was watching my cousins play. Um, what is it? Uh, oh, Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past. So 
that was just amazing. Like, that was my first experience uh, witnessing video games for the first time in my very, very young life. And the next thing is, or the next question, rather, is, what game are you looking forward to? Well, not I really don't have a game that I'm looking forward to because, well, for one, I don't have a Wii U yet, and the one game I want to play is Mario Kart 8. I want to play that game. It's one of the funnest games I've seen in a long time, and it's something that I would buy a Wii for. So, that's something to consider, definitely. And then, uh, the next question is, uh, your least favorite video game character. I mean, there's a lot of favorites, but I would have to go for the least favorite. It would have to be Waluigi. And, you know, I mean, he's, he's one of my favorites, but he's at the bottom of that list. Which then brings me up to the last question, and that is, your favorite video game character. And, you know, it took me a while to think about that one, but it comes as no surprise that it is Blue Toad. Yes. I mean, I mean, there, there, there have been some video game characters over the years, but I think Blue Toad is my absolute favorite because, I mean, come on, I'm the Blue Toad. Well, not really, but that's just my avatar. But, you know, when people see me, they think Blue Toad. Where they see Blue Toad, they think to Jew 22. But that really goes without saying. Uh, and then, that's pretty much the questions. I hope I answered them as well as I could. I mean, I just, all I really did was just answer them. That's all I did. So, um, as for who I'm going to tag. Um, I was going to tag Connus Board, but then I realized that he won't be able to uh, make videos until December for some odd reason. I don't know what happened to him, but I mean, he's okay, but I just hope that um, yeah, he's doing all right. Um, and all right, so the first person I want to tag is TrueWho82. And then, um, Pika Pika Power, and Ryoko, um, hmm. oh, Cosmos Plays, and let's see, who else? Um, let's see, oh, you know, I was going to tag this person, but, um, uh, Grotus already tagged him, so I'm not going to, you know, commit double jeopardy. Let's see, who could I, t who could I, um, tag, though? Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, Prince Mario. I'll tag Prince Mario, and I'll tag, um, uh, Via Vanille. And then, uh, and Tanuki Teddy, and, uh, Shy Guy Gaming, or, well, it, well, formerly known as Shy Guy Gaming, but he now goes under his original YouTube name, uh, Shy Guy with the Lazy Eye, okay, I, I just, I forgot, there's more than so many, there's so many, uh, people known as, uh, Shy Guy Gaming that I forgot about that. Uh, but he goes under his YouTube name, Shy Guy with the Lazy Eye. So we'll go with that. So those are the eight people that I'm going to tag. Uh, I will put their channels in the description, so do check them out. They are really good people. I, I just wanted to go with people that are most likely to answer uh, the tags, you know, or the game tag uh, challenge, which I just did. So yeah, that was the number one thing I wanted to take care of. And then, um, let's see what else. Um, uh, recently I started uh, Mega Man 2. Now, 
it has been met with mixed results. Now, some people like it, which is good. But some people just, like, they like it, but they would love it if I, you know, featured the original music. And that's pretty much where the problem comes. And that is, for those of you that are unaware, some videos have been claimed uh, under third-party content. And others have been, what is it, uh... Uh, what is it, uh, not banned, but uh, blocked in countries such as Germany. And, uh, it, you know, and it, it, it all started with uh, Slim Kirby, who was doing a Let's Play of uh, the Mega Man games. And it got so, it was so bad that he, I think he got a strike or something, or I don't know if he got a strike, but it, it got to a point where he was wrongfully claimed and the reason I say that is because uh, Capcom did not make the claim uh, in fact yeah they, they didn't make the claim uh, instead the claims were made by of all people uh, UMG that's a universal music group uh, they made the copyright claim and here's why I am very, 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 very upset about. And that is, it does not belong to them. It belongs to Capcom, and yet they're claiming it as their own. I'm like, what? Are you serious? But here's why I was so hesitant to, you know, feature the music. Especially the, the Robot Master stages. Because the fact is, I know, I know that they are uh, used in part in the uh, Super Smash Bros. game. Like, um, the one for the 3DS and uh, Wii U. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be great games, but we're not talking about those games. Although, I guess that could have been a, a question I could have answered for. What game are you looking forward to? Well, maybe that game, but, uh, but, but that's beside the point. The point is, at first I thought, you know, Capcom was claiming it because uh, it was used in the Smash Brothers game. But not really. Uh, and then... At first, I thought, oh, Capcom is doing this. They're blocking videos in Germany. Uh, I, I don't know if they gave anybody a strike, or at least that's what I thought. And then I find out that Universal Music Group, UMG, is claiming them. And, and the fact that they're even doing it, in spite of the fact that it's not theirs, it's like, what the hell? So, to protect myself... Uh, what I did was I, I took uh, the music from uh, what is it uh, YouTube's audio library, and I used it in place of the Robot Master stages, and it's been met with mixed responses because some people might like it, but other people are like, "Where's the original music?" and and for those of you that are you know criticizing me for not using the original music I'm sorry but it was but this whole thing is out of my control I have no control over this it's not like I can just go up to them and tell them to stop it's not that simple because if it was uh, don't you think I would have posted the the whole shebang like don't you think I would have posted everything think about it guys think about it because, you know, when people tell me that, well, you're, like, you know, I, I don't think they're saying it to me directly, but when I, I get the impression that people think I'm a chicken, well, you have to be in my shoes to understand what goes through my mind. And what goes through my mind is I could lose everything just because UMG claims uh, videos that really belong to Capcom and I could be out of business just because UMG can put me out of business and ultimately it it's the fault of YouTube because YouTube they made this whole content ID thing to begin with I really think that you know YouTube should you know rework it so that false copyright claims don't hurt us 
like they will be looked upon by either YouTube or by a third party arbitrator so that it can be confirmed that yes this belongs to them or no it's a false copyright claim that the copyright claim should be rescinded or in this case or you know in, in other words that the copyright claim is false and it should be removed which for the video distributor which would be me that's a good thing but they haven't done that yet and until this whole thing goes through a legal process and that probably might be the only thing that I mean really going through the legal process that's the only way to remove a strike or even a claim and the fact that it has to go through that I'm sorry but I don't have the time and the money to go to court just to you know either like if I get a strike I don't have the time or the money to get it removed I mean really YouTube needs to get their act together seriously and ultimately the people that are paying for it is is uh, video makers like myself like I mean it doesn't really affect those who have already posted the videos because well they're already posted but for those who want to make new videos like myself like are hesitant to even feature them because well because of matters like this and for anyone that sells and for people that say well you should feature the music well if I feature the music I'm dead well not really I'm not gonna be well I'm not dying but I'm like that's what I'm trying to get at is if I feature the music I could be committing YouTube suicide if I press my luck one time too many everything that I worked for and everything that I have gone so with that said guys be careful what you ask for because you just might get it and there are some things I'm not willing to get and that's a strike and until I know for certain that this whole UMG thing is taken care of and resolved especially with uh, on especially on Capcom's uh, games like the Mega Man games like until Capcom uh, as well as uh, like if, if, if Capcom steps in and they fight for property that belongs to them that was wrongfully claimed like until I know that this that this whole thing is taken care of I'm not gonna feel safe you know putting in some music like I yeah I could put it like at a very low value but that's all I can really do uh, but that being said though until I know it's safe I, I will just do what I have been doing for the first four videos like the first video or episode had no music at all except at the boss but then uh, subsequent after that I would have a song for the stage and maybe even a little bit into the uh, boss battle but I might decide to keep the boss theme and maybe even the menu screen but uh, after that that's all I can relent on you know there's only so much I can like what is it uh, display in terms of the original music I mean I believe me when I tell you I want to feature the music because the music is good there's no question about it but my it's like my hands are tied and you know my hands are tied I really don't have much of a choice I'm only playing with the cards that were given to me I don't really have any say in this and until it's taken care of I really can't do anything so and, and that's what I want people to understand is I have little to no control over this so before you ask me to do something I would end up regretting think about it use your head I'm not trying to ridicule you I'm just I'm trying to tell it like it is you know it is what it is and I have no control over it just be happy that I even am putting these things out I could have just canceled the damn thing if I wanted to so like I said use your head okay next next thing I wanted to talk about is chrono trigger 
Uh, I am a little slow on the game in the sense that I've never played it. Like, uh, I never played it before, so it's going to be a bit slow in the sense that it's, you know, I don't know what I'm doing, really. Well, actually, I know what to do, but I don't know how to get around to it, you know? Like, uh, like when I come, like, say, a boss battle or anything like that, like, um, there might be times when I get stuck or I might get a game over. Well, if I get a game over, I get a game over. I don't, I, I don't expect to win all the time, so... Um, but I will save just so that I don't lose any major progress or anything like that. So uh, that's something to bear in mind. Um, and yes, uh, as far as um, I, I got two more episodes on the way, but uh, I'll have to edit them and you know render them and all that stuff. So I, I just you know be patient; they'll be coming. Uh, but as far as the game itself, yeah, I'm a bit slow. So um, if anything. You guys can help me with that, especially uh, Grotus, because he played the game. Nufi Banga played the game. Anyone who's played the game and knows what to do, you know, feel free to help me if you like. It's not a completely blind let's play, because if it was, I would say, don't tell me what to do. So, um, I would actually appreciate your help, if anything. So, uh, yeah, you are more than welcome to help me in this case. So, uh, if there's something I need to do, uh, let me know. Uh, I mean, I'll be on the lookout for, like, certain side quests if I feel it would help me in the long run. But, uh, yeah, that's just another thing to keep in mind. Okay, another thing I wanted to talk about is uh, some plans uh, in the works. Uh, let me take a little drink here. So, um, let me slow down a little bit. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, not this Friday. Uh, as of the time I'm doing this, it is the 20th of 2014, or uh, the 20th of uh, November, excuse me, of 2014. And uh, not to tomorrow would be Friday, but I'm talking about the Friday after that. And that is uh, next Friday, as of the time I'm doing this. I will be participating in my very, 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 very first Black Friday. And I've never been to a Black Friday event. Um, for those of you that are, 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 that are young or have no idea what Black Friday is, um, what it is is you, you get up in the early morning of Friday, or if not late night, on uh, Thanksgiving night and uh, you get up in the morning or late at night the the day before and you go to the store that you want to go to like say uh, Walmart Best Buy uh, Target uh, I don't I, I forget the stores in Canada but uh, I, I'm pretty sure most of the stores in Canada are the same as that in America. I, I'm not sure about the ones in um, in the United Kingdom, like where my good friend Pika Pika Power lives, uh, as well as maybe even where Connus Board lives. Uh, I mean, I I, I don't want to say where exactly, but uh, Connus Board. I don't know if he even celebrates um, Thanksgiving or not. I mean, the the jury's still out on that, but. Um, but for those who do celebrate Thanksgiving, um, I do know for a fact uh, that LP Grotus is not going to celebrate Thanksgiving. Actually, let me take that back. Uh, Canada already had its Thanksgiving uh, a month before that. They have their own Thanksgiving, and that's on uh, October. So I don't, I don't think they'll have Black Friday. And if they do, all right, well, they have the same stores that we do most of the time in uh, Canada as they do in America. But I do know that my good friend LP Grotus doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving because, well, they don't celebrate Thanksgiving where he lives. So I wouldn't know what stores he has. Like, I know he has a Best Buy, but that's like far away from where he lives. But as for what stores he has in Sweden, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, but that's But that's really all I can say about it. But the gist of... Black Friday is that you you get up in the morning 
and you wait until at least, what, 6 o'clock in the morning for the doors to open. And what happens is, is you have a big line uh, leading up to the entrance of the store. And then when the door opens, usually everybody runs in the store and grabs what they want. And the number one selling item during Black Friday is um, are the flat screen TVs. So you can only imagine how many people will just go straight to the electronic section and buy a buttload of TVs. Well, not one person, but one person will try to get their hands on one and try to hold on to it because, you know, the thing about Black Friday is it can be violent. And usually it would happen when someone gets a hold of something and then another person tries to steal it. So that's exactly what I would have to deal with. I hope I don't have to, but there's no avoiding it. That's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, th there's no avoiding the fact that we might, e I might have to fight somebody to get a hold of something or to hold on to something, you know? Uh, that's one of the things that uh, can happen during uh, Black Friday. But yeah, people go in and buy stuff uh, on the day of Thanksgiving or or the day after Thanksgiving rather and the reason they do this is because on Black Friday they mark the prices lower than normal like you buy a you, you buy a flat screen TV for like what eight hundred dollars in America but in Black Friday they could be selling it for as little as maybe five hundred dollars or four hundred dollars so the fact that they're marking the prices down not just on TVs but even like simple stuff like clothes or video games or heck even uh, PS4's um, Xbox One's and uh, and Wii U's you know and uh, as well as everything that goes with it so you can imagine how many people are going to be going after those stuff all that stuff and maybe even some stuff that most people wouldn't think to buy like uh, shovels and hammers or or just stuff that you would need in the yard or or maybe even uh, like food items maybe it's possible you could have food but uh, it's highly unlikely but yeah mostly electronics is the number one thing that they go after uh, unless you go to Macy's or to Sears or something like that, or or J.C. Penney rather, <coughs> and and then and then it comes down to like clothes, like the latest fashions and the and maybe and mainly the shoes. The shoes is what the biggest seller is in uh, Macy's because they sell a lot of shoes. And there's an old saying: "Women be shopping, baby. Women be shopping." And that, and that is true, you know, women do a lot of shopping. In fact, that's what most of the crowd is going to consist of, women. Uh, but that doesn't mean there is no shortage of men. It's just that mostly women do it, but I could be wrong on that. I mean, it could be different in most other countries, but that's pretty, that's pretty much what goes on uh, for Black Friday. And I'm going to be going to my first Black Friday. So, uh... Uh, guys, wish me luck because I hope to get a Wii U either on Black Friday or maybe even, or at the worst, probably uh, this Christmas. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about was a game I wanted to do but can't do. Uh, the reason I want to get a Wii U is because there are some games for the Wii. Like, I have some Wii games, like, for example, my wrestling game. But I can't even play that on my modded Wii because it would ask me if I want to do an update. And if I accept the update, at worst I could lose all the modifications like the emulated games. But at worst I could, you know, brick the Wii. Like I would make the... It would, it would be as if the Wii had died, so to speak. And let's see, another thing... I, I forgot, what is it? Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I want to get a Wii U for that. But as it is, uh, I can't play the wrestling game because I would get the update, and if I accept the update, I could lose 
not only the emulated games, I could lose the Wii itself. So I want to use that as a backup and get a Wii U so I can play some games I can't play on the modded Wii. So that's one. Uh, but there is one other game I wanted to play, and I might as well let this out of the bag because, well, I can't play it right now, but I want to play it. Like, I want to do a Let's Play of it, but I can't. And this is going to make one fangirl very, very disappointed. And believe me when I tell you, I am just as disappointed as you are that I'm not going to be able to do it. And that is Skyward Sword. I wanted to do a Let's Play of Skyward Sword, but I can't because I don't, or not, well not because I don't, but rather, I mean I have the uh, the Wii Motion Plus controller, like I have that, but the modded Wii won't let me play the Skyward Sword game unless I accept the update, but if I do that, I would lose the emulated games, but even worse than that, I could lose the Wii itself, like, well... Well, not, it, it's not going to be stolen from me. I mean, I just it will just die. That's all it would do. So I can't even play the um, Skyward Sword game. So the only way I can do that is play it on the Wii U. And that's what I'm going to get it for. So for my good friend, Via Vanille, probably the most well-known fangirl of Link, is going to be disappointed. And like I said... I am just as disappointed as you are. I really am. It's just... <sighs> hey, I'm just... I'm really disappointed because... And it's not... I'm so disappointed that I won't be able to play it. Be, and also, I, I'm disappointed that I won't be able to, you know, showcase what I can do with it. And I'm sorry that... Uh, that you'll have to wait until I get a Wii U. I'm sorry that I can't make your dreams come true. Well, well not like that, but you know what I mean. No, I I'm sorry that I'm not going to be able to play it until I get a Wii U. I'm sorry that I have to disappoint you, but I'd rather tell you the truth than to tell you a bunch of lies to make you feel better. You know, that's something that I've been taught when I was just a little toad, or a smaller toad. And, you know, it, it, you know, it, it, it saddens me that I have to say it, but I'd rather say that than to say a bunch of lies and then feel bad about it later on. Because it's only going to make me feel better. I hope it'll make you feel better to know that I want to do the Let's Play. I just can't do it because well, I'm, because my modded Wii won't let me. That's just pretty much what it is. So, I've, I've gone on a tangent long enough. I just wanted to get this out of my system because... Well, first I wanted to answer uh, LP Grotus' game tag... And I wanted to answer uh, some questions about why I can't even use uh, music or most of the original music for uh, Mega Man 2. You know, that sort of thing. And uh, like I said, I'm not trying to ridicule you. I'm just trying to tell you that, you know, be careful what you ask for because you might get it. And also, you know, I can't control anything. I, I want you guys to know that I do want to do it, but I can't. That's the thing. So, if there's anything you want to ask me for probably the next episode of Tales of Taju 22, um, I forgot what someone asked me to do, but if you want me to, you know, answer some questions, I will. Uh, I just wanted to answer the questions that were in need of being answered, and... I just wanted to get that out of my system. Uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to do. Thank you for watching, and I hope you understand. And stay tuned for the next. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Until then, my fellow Toads and Toadettes. Until then, this is Tuju22 signing out. Have a good day.